going to do is quite a different dissection today. I'm actually going to take the hide off and I'll be videoing that and I'll be looking at all the structures that are up at the top here. And the whole purpose of me taking this off is because I want to just get to the capsule and to the bones in the foot because I want to preserve just the bones and the capsule. So I need to take all of this off, but I thought it would be a really good opportunity to actually video the process so that we can have a look together and, and look at the structures inside and um, see what's actually going on in there. So, okay, so I've actually made a start. I, I did, a, I did a, um, a cut through here, through the hide, and I did a cut through just where the, the, um, where the hair hits the coronary band through there to try and sort of tidy up really. So here we go, it's, it's gonna be a bit gory and a bit horrid, um, but I hope that you will get something from this. So just get your bearings again, and there's the side of the foot here, bulbs at the back, coronary band, and the toe here. So the hide has just started to come off. And the first thing I noticed when I started to take this off, can you see all this here, all this tissue? If you listen, it's quite weird type tissue. It's almost like, oh, it's like, um, it seems a bit brittle. And I'm wondering if that's what they call fascia, which is what the um, Bowen treatment people do, where they actually manipulate fascia. So I'm gonna have a look up on that. Now this is completely unscripted this video and I haven't looked inside this part of a horse's hoof before. This is my first time um, and so I haven't studied it at all. So this is completely ad lib and I don't really know what I'm going to be finding in here but hopefully by the time we get to the end we'll have a bit of a better understanding of what's going on. coming round now to the back of the foot to the heel area and just making an incision so that I can get a clean cut to get this hide off without too much damage. Now one thing I've noticed as this hide is coming off this is actually a really thick layer you're probably looking about three or four millimeters of tissue there so that's quite I would have thought that was quite a strong covering um, to protect this this, the internal parts. However, I know for that there are just bones and very little tissue in here. And I think this is why we get so many troubles with our horses with injuries, where they can really get some serious damage going on. And because there is, you know, not a lot of protection going on in that, in that hoof. Like there are no pads of fat on, on the front here to protect it. Like if you think of ladies' hips, they'll have a pad of fat on the the, hip, the top of the hip. Um, so if we fall down, we've got a nice pad to, to protect our hips from breaking. We lay fat down in our bottoms, again, to protect our hips. And also because we've eaten too much, but <laughs> that's another story. Um, yeah, so it looks like I'm actually cutting through some of the coronary area through here. I mean, I, I'm not too, I'm not too desperately worried about um, damaging these structures because I just want to really just get the hide off and see what's going on underneath. You know, this isn't a proper dissection per se. This just has a purpose for me to get to the capsule, get the capsule off and get the, the bones out. But I thought it would be a really good opportunity to actually video what I'm doing because with another hoof that I did, I, I decided I was going to just take the capsule off using my saw and I didn't really make a very good job of it. It was a incredibly hard job. And then when I did get the capsule off, I found some such interesting things going on inside that I decided that um, I would never, ever, ever just hack away at a hoof. Um, 
I would video what I'm doing because it, it, it really makes sense. I mean, these hooves are extremely valuable to me and although I can get a very good supply of them, I'm, I'm very fortunate in that. I, I want to treat each one with the respect that it deserves This the, for the horse that has passed away. And I, I feel quite honoured that I'm able to do this. And I'm honoured and very blessed that I have the scientific mind to question and um, want to study this in such a detail. I can see a blood vessel there. Can you see there's something, this here, this looks like a blood vessel to me. Um, that's hanging on. That's quite superficial, isn't it? It's not really very deep. It li it's lying just underneath the hide, just there. And it's, it's a reasonably big one. It's not a little tiny one. So we'll have to have a look at that. There's some more. Look, I'm gonna call this fascia this um, hanging stuff, this stuff that seems to be attaching the, the hide to the rest of the tissues, for want of a better word. Now I am trying to keep my hands away from this blade. I know it looks like I'm being rather slapdash, but um, I can assure you I'm quite a way away from that blade. Here's a really lovely example of that tissue that I was telling you about where it's like attaching the hide to the internal. And it's quite a strong tissue as well. I'm surprised um, at the strength of it really. And I think that uh, because it co covers, must cover the whole of the internal hide, uh, I think its strength is also in its the amount of it as well. I mean, just one little bit might not do its job if it was just a tiny little bit. But the fact that it's it's um, it seems to be all over the hide, I think, would give it its strength and its functionality. One thing I particularly wanted to look at this this heel was quite contracted, and contracted I mean that these two parts have gone in quite a bit. That's one landmark and. You can actually see when I squeeze it, can you see the whole heel can squeeze together? This whole back of this, this hoof can actually move. It's not static. And what's happened is, is this, these have come together, these heels. The frog has been squished and there's this, this very thin um, sulcus through the central part and towards the back. And I want to have a little look at the back because there's actually a, 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 a physio going through the back here. Now, look, I have cut the hide off, but can you see that little physio through there? And I don't think that that would be a very healthy thing to have. And the fact that we've got this very deep groove through the back here is also not healthy. So what comes first? Do the heels contract and squish the frog? Or does the frog get thrush, which is what I think has happened here? And that then leads to the contraction. I'm going to cut through that uh, that blood vessel because I I need to be able to get this hide off. But we can have a look at that. We can have a look in the textbooks and see what that blood vessel is. It's so incredibly close, isn't it, to the external um, the external wall, uh, the external hoof. And look here, it's I'm just starting to dissect a little bit more out through here. It's a big blood vessel. Now you can see why when they get a cut in this area that they bleed. Horses bleed like crazy, don't they? And I think this is this shows you why. I mean that's that's quite big. Alright, let's just cut through this because we really don't want to hold this up anymore.
some other blood vessels at the back of the foot here as well. There seems to be quite a lot. If you look in the skin here, there seems to be considerably more blood vessels at the back of the foot than what we're seeing here in the front. I'm trying to keep as close as I can to the actual hide so I don't actually cut into all these structures. It is incredibly hard. There seems to be quite a lot of fatty tissue in this back part which is attached to the hide quite significantly. And that's prop I, I think what I've done is I've actually gone through the back of the digital cushion. I think I've actually cut into that. Um, but okay, well, like I say, the, the, the whole purpose of this is just to get, the, I just want to get the hide off and I thought it would be a good opportunity to see what's going on inside the foot. Let's just have a quick look at that little bit at the back there. That little bit that was quite um, indented and looking at it on the inside and you can see it actually indents obviously right on the inside. But I can't really see any um, any disease in the tissues here, so that, that's an interesting finding. 